All right, guys, we're in Graphtech Studio 2 software. We are going to make some die slash perf cut stickers on a 8.5 by 11 sticker sheet. It's holographic sticker vinyl. So right now in the software, I have my media set as 8.5 by 11. I have four points, type 2 registration marks. If you look at the area above the two top registration marks, you see it's a little bit bigger than the bottom. The reason for that is you need that area so that the pinch rollers are able to cut everything within the registration marks. So once you have your media size and registration mark set up, you can now import your files. I'm making two stickers. One is Look Alive and the other one is Familia and they are in PNG format. For some reason, Graphtech Studio doesn't allow you to merge multiple files at once so you have to do one at a time. It's kind of weird. All right, we have both of our stickers now and we are going to do an offset. Now, a regular offset, you have that space around the sticker, but I want a full bleed sticker. So that means I want to cut inside the actual graphic so that the color goes all the way to the edge of the sticker. You can adjust the offset by messing with the numbers. So now I'm going to do the same thing to Familia. How much of an offset is all up to you and what you think looks right. Once you get your offset, you can go ahead and apply it. I always change the color of my cut lines to purple. And that will come into play when we go ahead and cut the stickers out. So now that I have the size stickers that I want and the internal offset cut lines, I'm going to copy them and fill up all within the registration marks. That way I'm not wasting any sticker paper. You can always rotate it and try to put things in place to maximize the registration mark area. When you have all your stickers set up inside the registration marks, you can go ahead and print it. I have an Epson ET7750 Ecotank printer, and I've printed it out on holographic sticker vinyl. Now we're gonna head over and go ahead and laminate the sticker sheet. I use 210 OrGuard laminate. This makes the stickers UV and water resistant. This green tool I have is a ceramic safety blade. What it does is score the back of the laminate so you could pull a strip off without it going all the way through the actual laminate. And then you can stick the laminate on your sticker sheet. Go ahead and line it up with your sticker sheet. Squeeze at the top of it so it adheres to the sticker sheet. And then we're going to run it through the cold laminator. Go ahead and pull off the back end of the laminate. Place the sticker sheet in and let the laminate hang over the roller. And then you're going to go ahead and roll it through. Now you have a laminated sticker sheet with no air bubbles and it's looking pretty good. I had an electric laminator, but it took a lot longer than a cold laminator. And then it also had a lot more bubbles. But this cold laminator off of Amazon, which I think I got for like 120 bucks, it works great. Now we're going to take the sticker sheet to the GraphTech plotter. I line the edge of the sticker sheet with a line on the GraphTech plotter. That way it goes in straight. The pinch rollers are going to track just outside the registration marks. You have to make sure the pinch rollers on the GraphTech align with the blue marks on the plotter. Once you have everything aligned correctly, go to the back and lift up the lever. That way it pinches down the rollers on the sticker sheet. Now we're going to go to the menu on the GraphTech. And we're going to select 3 for sheet because we have an 8.5 by 11 sticker sheet. Once you select it, the graphic is going to do its thing and read the registration marks. I used to have a silhouette cameo and for whatever reason, the sensor wouldn't read registration marks on a holographic sticker vinyl. But the graphic has no issues doing so. Once it's done reading the registration marks, you need to make sure the blade is within that first registration mark. You have to hold down slowly and move the arrows either left, right, up or down. If you don't hold slow, the blade will move real fast. So now I'm going to slowly move it to the left and bring the paper forward so I'm right within the registration mark. Let's go back to Graphtech Studio 2. If you've ever used the Silhouette Cameo software, it's very similar to the Graphtech software, but there are slight differences. From this page, you can't send it to cut. You have to go to this blade with a little squiggle mark and click it. It's going to open up this window and as you could see, the orientation is at 90 degrees, but I want it at 0 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and change it. Now that I got it orientated correctly, I'm going to go to Pulse Size. When you click on Pulse Size, it automatically detects the media size in the graph tech. For whatever reason, it doesn't always accurately measure it, so you might have to adjust the size manually. Yeah, so mine didn't correctly measure it. And if you get this message, that's all that means. So what you have to do is go to the width and change it to eight and a half and the height by 11 or whatever media size you're using. Once you get the correct size, that message goes away and you're able to proceed. So now I'm gonna go to this tab right here with the little blade. We are gonna go to the by color tab. 
we are going to uncheck the red cut line because that's the edge of the sticker and make sure we highlight the purple cut line because that's our internal offset cut line that we want to use. We are going to enable driver options and select the condition that we want to use. Conditions are cut settings where you have your speed, force, and acceleration of the blade. I have my perf cut settings under condition 2. From there, we are going to go to line type. Right now, it's on a solid line, but I want a perf cut line. I already made a custom perf cut line, so right now we're going to go ahead and import it and use that for our cut line. Before you send the job to be cut, just go over your settings and make sure everything's correct. Then you could hit output and send the job to the graph tech. The graph tech is going to read the registration mark and start cutting. The graph tech is so much quieter and so much quicker than a silhouette cameo, which I was using. I was using the silhouette cameo 3, I believe. And man, that thing was loud, it was slow, and it wouldn't read the registration marks on the holographic sticker vinyl. The graph tech has no issues reading the registration marks on holographic material. With the graph tech, you don't have to use a cutting mat, and it's pretty cool that it works even on a 8.5 by 11 size sticker sheet. After it's been cut, we could take it out and put some pressure on the actual sticker itself until it pops out. You're going to go ahead and do that for all the stickers. These are known as die cut stickers or perf cut stickers as opposed to kiss cut stickers where they stay on the sticker sheet and you just peel them off. The stickers cut out pretty good. I'm really happy with the results. Let's head over to the graph tech and slap these bad boys on. All right, here are the final results. Added some flair to my graph tech. Now it's looking real nice. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like and subscribe and thank you for watching.